right now, live at 5. How a tax break for superior residents could mean more housing for the community. Plus, campaign 2020 is ramping up and the state of Wisconsin is becoming a popular stop for candidates, including the current vice president. A Duluth mother is hoping to take the stress off parents this school year. And later, the voters have spoken and Ely School will soon be getting some major upgrades to the tune of $20 million. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Welcome to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look over Lake Superior on this Wednesday evening. We're looking into some big news for taxpayers in Superior today. Plus, Vice President Pence made a campaign stop in Wisconsin. We'll have more on his visit in just a few minutes. Good evening, I'm Kristen Vaki. Tony has the night off. Thanks for joining us. Superior residents will soon see a break in their taxes. That's after the Superior City Council approved ending one of the city's tax increment districts, or TIDs. A TID is a tax collecting initiative that raises money to help promote economic development and redevelopment in specific neighborhoods. With one year left on this specific TID, you may be wondering, where will that money go? CBS 3's Emma Quinn explains how it could help fund a new affordable housing project in Superior. It's been almost 20 years since the city of Superior began this tax increment district, largely focusing on the Connors Point Industrial Park. But Mayor Jim Payne hopes these tax dollars can now be used to invest in more housing for residents. Mayor Payne says the TID will close next year and about 350,000 tax dollars collected from it over the years will go into an affordable housing fund. While there isn't any housing projects set in stone just yet, Payne hopes with community input, the city can use the money where residents feel it's needed most. Um, and that's the great thing about it. It doesn't have to go in that district that we're closing. We can put it where we need it the most. And so we're just going to look for the best opportunity, and we can really design this project from the ground up. Mayor Payne says currently the city has mostly rental properties, which can make finding affordable housing difficult. He adds, city leaders will be discussing what is considered affordable for residents as plans for the project take shape. Mayor Payne adds investing in affordable housing now will have a greater economic impact on the city in the long run. Payne adds the city won't know how much of a decrease in tax dollars uh, and what that will look like until next year when budgets are made. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll hear more about the city's need for more affordable housing. In some other political news, Vice President Mike Pence made a campaign stop in Wisconsin this afternoon. The vice president's stop was at Tank Craft Corporation, a metal factory in Darien, which is in the southeastern part of the state. During his speech, Pence poked fun at Democrats for canceling their in-person national convention in Milwaukee and going virtual instead. He noted that Biden had not campaigned in Wisconsin in nearly two years. I didn't hear the Democrats were supposed to have their national convention in Wisconsin, but they couldn't make it. In fact, the last time you saw a Democrat nominee for president in his Badger state was back in 2012. Pence says he and President Trump will make frequent visits to the state. They won by less than one percentage point in 2016. Today marks day three of the Democratic National Convention. Some faculty at UMD are threatening to put all their courses online if administrators don't meet their COVID safety demands for the fall. Faculty from Swenson College of Science and Engineering wrote a letter to the chancellor. They're asking for an on-campus testing site, daily updates on COVID-19 cases, and clear online options for students. The letter demands these changes be implemented before classes start on August 31st. Meanwhile, UMD shared a statement today saying the chancellor immediately started conversation with the faculty after receiving the letter. They also said he has been building UMD's plan in concert with plans for all the University of Minnesota campuses. They say there's a chance to address the faculty about their concerns at two different meetings next week. We'll hear from faculty and the administration's responses to the letters, uh, specific demands, coming up tonight at 10. Joe Biden's pick for Vice President Senator Kamala Harris and former President Barack Obama are set to headline night three of the Democratic National Convention. Tonight's theme, a more perfect union. Natalie Brand reports from Wilmington, Delaware.
the Democratic Party is coming together. Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden delivered pre-taped remarks to the DNC's Hispanic Caucus Wednesday. And it is so often the case when hard times hit. Latino families are bearing a disproportionate share of the burden. It comes on day three of the Democratic National Convention, where tonight California Senator Kamala Harris is set to accept the Democratic Party's vice presidential nomination. I am incredibly honored by this responsibility, and I'm ready to get to work. In her second speech as running mate, Senator Harris is expected to lay out her vision for a more inclusive nation, highlighting her story as the first black woman and Asian American on a major party's presidential ticket. Harris is one of several prominent women headlining tonight, along with Senator Elizabeth Warren, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and the Democrats' 2016 presidential nominee, Hillary Clinton. Former President Barack Obama is also a featured speaker. We all know that on its own, his work does not capture the full measure of Joe Biden. The Biden campaign released this ad to run ahead of the former president's speech. The 44th president is expected to not only highlight his working relationship with former Vice President Biden during their time in the White House, but he will also use his speech to encourage Americans to vote. The night will also feature performances by Oscar winner Jennifer Hudson and Grammy winner Billie Eilish. Dave's here for a quick look at the weather. Dave, not too bad of a day out there. I was at the vet with my little dog early this morning and a few sprinkles came down, but otherwise pretty nice day. And there's still a chance for a few more sprinkles here tonight. I've got the live look fired up in Grand Marais because there is a little cluster of showers in the western parts of Cook County right now, so give it a little bit of time and may cross through the Boundary Waters Wilderness, down the Gunflint, and into places like Grand Marie and Grand Portage. No big action right now, and if that rain chance does pay off, I don't think it's really going to be that big of an action, because it's a fairly weak low pressure system that's working through the region. But that warm front is changing things towards the warmer and the more humid, and that may be heat and humidity for a second low to feed on once we get towards Friday night into Saturday morning. Thursday should be covered by that high pressure cell you see a little bit farther to the west. So. Our day planner for Thursday says it should be clear to partly cloudy when you get out the door and through lunchtime, but later in the afternoon, it'll become partly sunny to mostly cloudy as that second low comes to call. We'll talk about the odds of rain returning again then for Friday and the start of the weekend, coming up in a few more minutes. All right, thanks, Dave. Still to come on Live at 5, a warning to bear hunters from the Minnesota DNR, plus a school campus in Ely is getting a spendy facelift. City by City is next. Plus, tonight at 6, as college students return for fall semester, local bars and restaurants are making adjustments to help stop the spread of COVID-19. You're watching Live at 5 with Kristen Vaki, Anthony Vant, and weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson on Live Local CBS 3. Watch Dave, Caitlin, and Austin for local weather you can trust on CBS. On the south shore of the greatest of the Great Lakes, Mother Nature's artistry is on full display in the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore. The best way to see it is on board Apostle Islands Cruises, located in the quaint city of Bayfield, Wisconsin. Visit our website at ApostleIsland.com. Apostle Islands Cruises, the best way to visit the Apostle Islands. New Duluth Auto is the Duluth used car dealer. We have plenty of makes and models to choose from. Nissan, Honda, Toyota, and we even carry multiple options for our most popular vehicle, the Subaru Forester. Large cargo space, all-wheel drive, what's not to love? All of our vehicles are priced under $20,000. To make these deals even sweeter, there is a one to five year warranty included on all vehicles. Give us a call, stop by, or view our inventory online at newduluthauto.net. Because here at New Duluth Auto, we are your Duluth used car dealer. Whether you want to stock up on jerky or grab some ribeyes for dinner, you will find quality products at Stokey's Meat Market. We have been delivering quality meat and deli items for the past 15 years, and we take pride in being the best choice in the area with the freshest products. Stop by either our Duluth or Hermantown location today to peruse our massive selection of chicken, sausage, and beef. And make sure to visit us online at Stokey'sMeatMarket.com to check out our weekly specials. Stokey's Meat Market, where quality and freshness come first. School starting. Is your internet fast enough? Gear up during Extreme's end of the summer sale. 
Get fast internet as low as $19.99 a month for one year. Extreme's fiber-powered internet gets an A-plus for performance with speeds from 60 meg up to 1 gig, powerful in-home Wi-Fi, and 99.99% network reliability. Hurry and get Extreme internet for as low as $19.99 a month for a year. Dial 844-EXTREME2. It's the smart call. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Grand Rapids. Dave Anderson will have your full weather forecast in just a few minutes. But first, let's see what's happening around the rest of the region. The Minnesota DNR is warning hunters to steer clear of special bears this season. Plus, the ferry fleet in Madeline Island is getting some needed upgrades. That and more as we take you around the Northland city by city. of Madeline Island. The ferry fleet of Madeline Island is out of the water and landlocked while they undergo routine maintenance. Every five years, the ferries must be serviced per Coast Guard regulations. Many of the ferries have been in service since the early 60s and were due for some modern upgrades. The ferries have had a slower season this year due to COVID-19, but they remain an integral part of Madeline Island's tourist season. Now to Grand Rapids, where the Minnesota DNR is asking hunters to be on the lookout and to avoid shooting special bears this season. The state's bear season officially begins September 1st, and the uptick in bear sightings may be promising for hunters, but the DNR warns that special bears used for research are off limits to hunters. The bears can be identified by distinctively large colored ear tags and radio collars. If hunters do take a marked bear by mistake, they should report it immediately to the Wildlife Research Center in Grand Rapids. And finally to Ely, where the area school campus will be getting some major upgrades to the tune of $20 million. Voters across Ely, Winton and Moore Township voted in favor of the upgrades, which will include a brand new building being constructed. The referendum passed with 64% of voters in favor. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email and it might be featured as we go around the Northland city by city. Still to come on Live at 5, are you homeschooling this year? There's a new company that wants to lend you a helping hand. Now here's a live look at the Virginia High Bridge. Look at this raindrops on it. Not there yet. And there's only a 20% chance tonight. But come tomorrow, we'll be warmer and it will be a little bit more humid. We'll talk about temperature trends and precip chances coming up after our break. Looking for a safe, effective alternative to ibuprofen? Curamin is pure, high-potency curcumin, the strongest natural anti-inflammatory there is, with no side effects. My part-time service in the Army National Guard makes it possible for me to be more for the community I call home. I'm a better neighbor because my service has taught me to understand how important it is to be a team player. My training helps me at work when I lead by example. My service in the Army National Guard allows me to keep my community and those I care about safe from threats. Learn more about how you too can live and serve part-time close to home by visiting NationalGuard.com. There are a lot of choices when it comes to automotive care, but how can you find someone you trust? At East End Auto, our customers have trusted us for the past 20 years to provide them with the best auto care. As your area's full-service repair shop, with the most modern equipment available to us, and backed by a two-year, 24,000-mile nationwide warranty, honesty is what our customer relationships are built upon. Locally family-owned and operated, stop out to see why East End Auto is the community's trusted auto repair home. Here at locally owned Adolfson Real Estate, we are ready to help you find the home of your dreams with no extra fees. Take a look at this beautiful home with a nice open floor plan in Cloquet. Please call our Cloquet office for more details. Call us today to schedule a tour at Adolfson Real Estate. Dear Penny, heads we stay local, tails we hit the road. With a new Toyota, you'll always land a winner. Your friends, Toyota. Toyota. Northwest Outlet is open for business. Now save up to 40% on store wide.
Coming up Thursday on CBS 3 this morning, more updates for Enbridge's Line 3 project as their request for appeals reaches a deadline. And the warm and muggy conditions will continue, and I'll also track the next chance of thunderstorms. So wake up with us starting at 5 a.m. CBS 3 Weather is brought to you by Stokey's Meat Market. Now, the CBS3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. High air pressures had a hold of us for a little while, including this morning, so it was a gorgeous morning for these kayakers to get out and paddle around just a little bit. Thanks to Roger Truscott for this great shot. Uh, the clouds are getting a little bit thicker now, just a little bit, because despite the high pressure for many of us, Around the Canadian border, there's a small low skirting the region. That's creating a slight chance for showers. It's paid off for some towns, and there's a 20% chance it could for a few more hours here tonight before a fresh high takes over tomorrow. But that, in turn, may only be a short visit because our next rain chance could be with us again come Friday into Saturday, and we'll sort all of this out in just a bit. But right now, we've got the current conditions at the airport, and it's 78 degrees there, so a warm period has been coming in with this low-pressure system. Its warm front is leading, and that's sending temperatures up, and humidity levels as well. Relative humidity is at 56%. The wind is southwesterly, 15 miles per hour. And, of course, the southerly component to the wind is pushing in some heat. And the air pressure right now, it has dropped a little bit, generally towards the high side by a hair, but... 1,011 millibars could continue to drop a little bit farther tonight as that low tracks by the area. Temperature-wise, right now in the Upper Peninsula, we have 75 in Watersmeet, just a degree cooler towards Ironwood and Hurley, Wisconsin. 76 to 77 from Hayward to Ashland and 75 Solon Springs. 80 in Superior, 81 on Park Point. So that westerly part of the wind component is compressionally heating, making things a little bit warmer by the lake for a few towns. 77 is what we have in Moose Lake. 80 going on from Hibbing to Grand Rapids. Low 80s from Ely to Orr to mid-80s International Falls. Low temps tonight. Probably the 60s for a lot of towns and maybe the upper 50s for a couple of places. Low pressure system, there's that small one skirting our Canadian border. And there's that warm front helping bring in the humid conditions. We'll take a closer look here to see what the rain is doing right now. And yeah, they've been getting a little bit in the tip of the arrowhead here. And there's that little bit of rain that I'm thinking could get towards Grand Marais in the next hour or so. Some of this action has crossed into the UP. And some of it is lurking out in the central parts of Minnesota, but heading to the south away from our region. That's why I say there's only a 20% chance you could get some of those sprinkles here tonight. And then a new high takes over for Thursday. Makes it dry, but it will remain humid. And that humidity will be energy for this new low pressure system to feed on once we get into Friday, especially Friday night into Saturday morning. Now we're looking at a 60% chance for storms. Hopefully they don't become severe, but don't discount the threat. Be ready just in case it's as wild Friday night as it was last Friday night. Now, temperatures for Minnesota tonight, yeah, should go from about 57 to 64. 20% chance of rain. And folks in Wisconsin and Michigan will call for a 20% chance for rain for a few more hours as well. Low temps near 60 there. And for tomorrow, daytime highs, Wisconsin and Michigan run 80 to 84 with a clear to partly cloudy sky from the latest high. And it'll be like that in Minnesota too. Low 80s inland, 70s by the lake, clear to partly cloudy sky, which turns into some cloudier skies here come Friday with that 60% chance of primarily evening rain and thunderstorms turning into morning rain and thunderstorms on Saturday. And then when the cold front comes through with the low, temperatures go down. The 80s end on Friday. We return to the 70s for the rest of the week. All right, thanks, Dave. Wisconsin leaders shared new guidance for the state's public schools as they prepare to start classes this fall. Governor Tony Evers has said he's leaving the choice between in-person, hybrid, or distance learning up to each school district. Today's announcement gives them some best practices to work from. The health department explains how to regulate face masks and contain an outbreak in schools. State officials say they'll be working with local health departments to give some more specific advice and resources based on location. Meanwhile, the Hermantown School Board has approved a hybrid learning model to start the school year. 
Last night, board members laid out their plans, saying middle and high school students will learn in specific groups at school for a few days each week. The rest will be online. As for elementary and early learning students, they will either learn in person or in a hybrid format depending on class sizes. Masks will be required at school. Families can also choose distance learning. You can find the link to those full details on our website. Time is ticking for parents to decide whether to send their children to school this fall or keep them at home. A stressful reality for many families across the country. Meanwhile, a Duluth woman is hoping to serve as a learning tool. CBS 3's Leon Valdez has the story. Parents want to make the right decision, and they really don't know what that decision is. Mother of two. Haley Schlungen knows how stressed out parents must be. Fear is just really rampant right now. Balancing life and children isn't easy. And she says now with added COVID-19 concerns, that's a recipe for disaster. It is bonkers. Which is why Schlungen is vowing to help parents get through it. There was a niche that I could help people with. Schlungen has been homeschooling her children since 2015 after she and her husband realized it was tough for their son to keep up. He did go to school for four months, um, but in kindergarten, it was, it was too much too soon. After finding out both their children are dyslexic, they decided to stick with homeschooling. We've just never looked back. Schlungen is taking what she's learned over the years and offering parents a course in homeschooling along with some support with her new business, the Curious Homeschooler LLC. She'll guide them through homeschooling laws and regulations in Minnesota and help with choosing the right kind of work. Finding curriculums that will work for the family, whether they do want to complete curriculum that's computer-based or if they would like a pen and paper model. Shlungen says she also wants to teach people about the stigmas that surround learning at home. But socialization really isn't an issue for homeschoolers. It seems to be the, the main one that people worry about. And that learning is everywhere. Our days are filled with activities beyond doing school. Play outside, go to museums, go to the library. Um, our days are filled with activities. Still to come, after months of construction, we have some good news for drivers whose daily commute takes them through Lake Avenue. Applying for Social Security Disability? Get help. Call the law office of Robert Hoagland, the largest disability law firm in Minnesota. A Social Security attorney will meet with you by phone or at an office location near you. No fees unless we win. Everybody likes something for nothing. Now at Home Furniture, when you spend $2.99 for something, you'll pay nothing down, nothing for interest until 2022, nothing for sales tax, and nothing for shipping. Shop furniture, mattresses, and even patio. And you can have them with nothing down, nothing for interest until 2022, nothing for sales tax, and nothing for shipping. Now that's something. The something for nothing sale ends Saturday, only at Home Furniture. There's no place like home. Tune in Saturday mornings for the Link Ford lineup, where we will show you amazing vehicles on our lot, like this 2019 Ford Escape SC with all-wheel drive, a backup camera, and more for just $366 a month. Or check out this 2008 Ford F-250 Super Duty XLT for only $320 a month. Want to see more? Then be sure to watch this Saturday. Visit us online at linkmotors.com or stop by either one of our two locations to view our complete inventory. Link Ford, where reputation is everything. Shopping for a new kitchen at Skips has never been better. Take home your dream kitchen today with Skips' new Glenwood and White Cabinets. Enjoy freedom and flexibility with your own movable island today. You can rely on Skips for quality and durability at affordable prices. Stop by with your measurements and see how you can take home beautifully painted or stained cabinets today at a truly affordable price. Visit us online at skipshomecenter.com or stop in to see our showroom at 4728 Rice Lake Road, Duluth. So, you made it all the way up to the North Pole? Yep, and the South. But I need good Medicare coverage so I can keep exploring. Well, we have a range of Medicare Advantage plans, some including dental, vision, prescription, and travel benefits. Can I find them online? Yeah, absolutely. Or you can give us a call. Sounds good. Well, our stop is just up ahead. So that was the shortest ride I think I've ever been on. Yeah, quarantine legs. <laughs> 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 Gotta work those muscles back up. Join our team at St. Anne's. St. Anne's Residence is calling to service nursing assistants, LPNs, personal caregivers, and food service workers. We offer excellent pay, bonus opportunities, and great people to work with. Apply online. Together, we are St. Anne's Strong. 
When was the last time you put your feet first? From working on your feet all day, to hiking the trails, or chasing the kids, you put your feet through a lot. At Northern Foot and Ankle, we specialize in foot and ankle pain and can treat most problems without surgery. Referrals are usually not necessary, and most insurance is accepted. So stop living with the pain and get back on your feet again. Contact Northern Foot and Ankle today and put your feet first. Social Security benefits denied? Get help. Call the law office of Robert Hoagland, the largest disability law firm in Minnesota. A Social Security attorney will meet with you by phone or at an office location near you. No fees unless we win. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS 3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Well, some sad news for fans of the annual Minnesota Renaissance Festival, and I'm just learning that includes our Dave Anderson and our producer Chance. Festival organizers announced via Facebook today due to safety concerns the festival is canceled. The announcement comes just three days prior to the festival's opening weekend. Organizers say tickets will be honored next year. The festival does plan to hold its COVID-conscious Feast of Fantasy. Big box retail store Target had a blowout quarter. Target reported the company's strongest performance to date. Profits were up 80 percent. It's the latest evidence that big box stores are becoming consumers' prime shopping destinations during the pandemic. Target, Walmart and Home Depot have all reported benefits. Well, after months of construction in downtown Duluth, the Lake Avenue Superior Street intersection will partially reopen this weekend. According to an update from project, project leaders, north and southbound traffic is reopening to motorists on Saturday. Crews are still working on a number of items involved with Phase 3 of the Superior Street Reconstruction Project. Work on the Lake Avenue Bridge is expected to wrap up by the end of the month. An update to a story we first reported last night. We're learning a Cloquet police officer cited for driving drunk is now on paid leave. According to the State Patrol, Officer Andrew Murray cr crashed his personal car along Gillespie Road in Carleton and ran from the scene back on August 6th. Police later found the 34-year-old and took him into custody. Today, Police Chief Derek Randall said he's disappointed in the officer, adding that Murray breaking the laws he's supposed to enforce only fuels distrust. Randall says Murray will uh, stay on paid leave until the court proceedings play out. After that, the department will conduct its own investigation. Murray is due back in court on October 15th. Coming up on the CBS Evening News and historic night ahead as Kamala Harris formally accepts the Democratic nomination for vice president. The message from the first black woman on a major party ticket and what to expect from President Obama and Hillary Clinton's speeches tonight. Plus wildfires raging out of control in California, the dramatic rescues and stories of survival from the front lines and how some teachers are starting this far from normal school year on a high note. That and more tonight on the CBS Evening News. Change the future of medicine from the convenience of home. Join the All of Us Research Program to help improve health research and speed up medical breakthroughs. Visit EssentiaHealth.org slash All of Us to learn more. Hi, John with Prime Appliance. We were thinking about a tent sale until we saw the cost of renting a tent, insurance, labor, security, and then what about the weather? So we decided to have a no-tent sale and pass the savings directly on to you with prices like this. Get quality Frigidaire and GE laundry pairs with electric dryers starting at just $11.99. Or get the Speed Queen front and top load laundry pairs with the best warranties at no-tent sale pricing. Financing always available. Take it home today or set up delivery during the no-tent sale at Prime Appliance. Uh-oh. What? I think I forgot to lock my Buick. Parallel parking. The hot yoga was so hot. Check this out. Cooling seats? Alexa, ask Buick to start my SUV. You can do that? You can do that? You can't do that. You can with the Buick. At the heart of every Buick SUV is you. Now everyone can get GM employee pricing on most 2020 Buick SUV models. Use it to get over 7,000 total value on this Envision. Every time that I felt like I was missing out. Every time I asked someone to repeat their question. Every time that I couldn't hear the birds singing in my own yard was another reason to treat my hearing loss. With the help of Ashland Audiology, I can finally reconnect with my family and my life. Don't wait to reconnect to those around you. Take the first step today to start your new life. Coming up tonight, how a break in taxes could mean more housing for superior residents.
A Duluth mother starts a homeschooling business to help parents this fall. Tonight at 6 on CBS 3. Watch Dave, Caitlin, and Austin for local weather you can trust on CBS 3. Men's wardrobe provided by Mainstream Fashions for Man. Mainstream is your wedding headquarters. Downtown Duluth. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Canal Park as we hit the halfway point of the week. Let's take a quick look at some of today's top stories and a preview of what's coming up tonight at 6. Superior residents will soon see a break in their taxes. This comes after the Superior City Council approved ending one of the city's tax increment districts, or TID. A TID is a tax collecting initiative that raises money to help promote economic development and redevelopment in specific neighborhoods. With one year left on this specific TID, you may be wondering where that money will go. City officials say the money is going toward affordable housing. As parents scurry to choose between in-home or in-school learning, a Duluth woman is hoping to take some of the stress off with a new business. Haley Schlungen just launched the Curious Homeschooler LLC. She's offering parents insight about the homeschooling world, teaching them about laws and regulations, and helping them choose the curriculum that will work best for each family. And tonight at 6, major universities across the country are already struggling with students' return to campus and trying to stop the spread of COVID-19. Tonight we hear from local bars on their message to students who are returning. That's your news at 5. The CBS Evening News is up next. We'll see you right back here at 6.